because of the other reviews I'll be watching it for a while to see how it does. But, so far, so good. After upgrading from the standard Spectrum Internet to the Ultra package, I upgraded from an older Netgear router that was having trouble supporting the number of wireless devices we run in the house to this one. My speed increased from around 212 Mbps to 457 Mbps and everything seems stable enough. I spent a lot of time researching which router I wanted that would be under $200. I bought this one because I figured having a tree band router would be more valuable to me than a dual band Wi-Fi 6 router my internet speeds went from about 80 megabits per second to over 200 megabits per second. The only thing that changed was this router I love how easy the user interface is to customize your settings. It comes with several security settings that will constantly be active to help prevent threats for a sub $200 router. I think this is the one to buy. After much deliberation. I decided on this TP-Link Archer A20 to upgrade a Cisco Link CZ 3200, circa 2010. Whoa, should have done this some time ago. Essentially doubled my speed, seeing almost 94 megabits per second down with 2.4 and about 112 megabits per second down with 5G. Range is excellent. Had terrible signal loss with the old Cisco in my bonus room over garage. Router was placed in the center of my home. With the TP-Link I'm now getting signal strength with the 2.4 GHz upstairs that I was seeing downstairs with the old Cisco. Setup was easy enough and the TP-Link tether app is fairly intuitive. Great product. Purchased this router to replace an older model dual band router I like the tether app functionality. But it does require that you have a smartphone to use. Outside of that, the router itself works well. It has a built-in VPN you can set up which is pretty handy for those of us who are into networking.